joining us right now for more on this is Sacktown Sports 1140 Jason Ross. You've been covering the Kings for how many years now? Long time, 30th season. 30th season? Yes. You are the expert on this, and you've also been watching and covering the Warriors in our mm -hmm. matchup as NorCal collides. What do you think we need to do tonight without Malik Monk, without Kevin Herter, to beat Steph Curry and the Warriors? Well, they're going to have to be on their game, Lisa. There's no doubt about it. It's going to have to be a special night for the Sacramento Kings. They've got to play sharp, got to hit their threes, got to implement that defense that's been new and improved with those guys out. So it's going to take a special game, special performance, but it is possible. Coach Brown has been focusing on defense the entire season. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something he even gave us an example of the kind of defense he wants them to see body on body defense. But they have they been able to really implement that? Probably not entirely to what they want, but mm -hmm. statistically, at least, they're top 15 defense, which is what they weren't a year ago. They were the special offense, number one offense near the bottom defensively. So mm -hmm. they have improved defensively. It's going to take a defensive performance, also with a pretty spectacular performance, I would say, from Fox and Sabonis. So in the regular season, we split two and two yeah. with the Warriors. Three we games decided by one point. <sighs> Three of the four by one point. So, uh, I mean, it's even. I hate You're to You're stressed. <laughs> very stressed. I am very stressed. I'm having palpitations to be honest yeah. uh, because I don't like to leave it that close when you have Steph Curry on the court and yes. Clay Thompson. Correct. Yeah, they've done it before, right? And, and they've done it to have, the Kings. And they're going to have all the regular starters tonight, including Draymond. They have everybody with the exception of Gary Payton II, but they're healthy. They're about as healthy as they've been and they're playing well, so it's going to be difficult, but it's one game. I feel better that it's one game as opposed to a series. Do you think that we sometimes, but we, we lost the first two games to the Warriors this year, then we won the second Correct. two. Correct. Correct. Which is reverse of what we did in the playoff series. Right. I mean, we Winning came the out. First two. We came out. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, we got this. Yes. And then uh, yeah, everyone knows what happened. Um, what do you, who do you think is going to be guarding Steph tonight for most of the night? So I will say this. I think they're better equipped this year. Keegan Murray has elevated his game defensively. Yes. So I could see him on him preventing a, uh, presenting a little bit of size. Keon Ellis, one of their best defenders as well. Davion Mitchell, we'll see him on him. And De'Aaron Fox. So they've got multiple people. It's probably going to take all of them. I mean, Keegan Murray has actually talked about how he's made it a personal challenge for himself, Correct. right, to be the person that guards Steph Curry. Um, in those two games that we did beat them, what did we do that we didn't do in the two games that we lost? Do you know? Well, one of them, yeah, one of them was one of the kind of miracle games this year. It was in the in-season tournament. It was at home. It was at Golden One Center. Kings were down by 24 points and came back. Now the guy who saved the day was Malik Monk, hit the game winner, but they still did come back from 24 down to beat these guys. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. In those two games that we won, you know, how critical was Malik Monk? And they pretty important. <laughs> yeah, he's. But again, <laughs> need I, Malik to I know he and he's had a terif uh, terrific year. But yeah. you know, I look back at a game just a couple weeks ago where the Kings were playing the Clippers, also a very good team, a yeah. four seed. Kings had this roster and they beat them. So I mean, they, it's going to take a game like that. But we also beat the Clippers in LA. I feel like the Clippers aren't as good as the Warriors. I don't know if that's a good apples to apples. Well, their record's better, but record's I think better. there's just a genuine fear of the Warriors, isn't there? Based there on is. how it ended last year, right. but they have the same record. And because Steph Curry can sink a, a basket from anywhere from here. on the court. He can yes. sink it from the KCRA3 <laughs> studios to the G1C. That's right. Jason Ross, thank you so much for sharing your 30 years of knowledge yes. with us. You've got to believe, Lisa. I do believe. <laughs> that wasn't convincing. You know what? I'm usually the first person every year to believe, but okay. I think I'm just scarred from the last... Well, at some point, they're going to come through. Okay, I hope yeah, so. I hope so, too. I, I feel like I didn't wear the purple on purpose. I went with 100 years of royalty well, blue. Out. Yeah, but, I mean, the purple hasn't been helping, so you know uh, what I'm saying. Okay, now <laughs> I'm going to rethink my outfit. All right, we'll be tuning in to you and Gary yes. Gerald tonight. Thank and you. Uh, if the Kings beat the Warriors tonight, they will play the loser of the Pelicans and Lakers game on Friday, of course. We're hoping that would be the Lakers.